Ashley Roberts live in the newsroom with more on the investigation and the continuing protest. Ashley. Good morning, Jason. Protesters are still outside the governor's residence and Summit Avenue is still closed despite police efforts yesterday morning to keep the street open. Last night, some of those protesters marched down Grand Avenue. The group was walking towards the state capitol, but Nikema Levy Pounds, Minneapolis NAACP president, yelled at them not to go to the capitol. Some protesters were beating drums. Over loudspeakers, police told them to knock it off because of the noise ordinance, and the drumming did indeed stop. Yesterday, Philando Castile's mother was at the state capitol with her new attorney, reality TV judge Glenda Hatchett. She plans to file a civil lawsuit on behalf of his family. While at the capitol, Valerie Castile received a call from President Barack Obama. He was flying to Dallas to speak at the memorial service for five police officers killed during a protest. Yes, sir. I really appreciate um you calling and voicing your concerns about uh, Philando and how he died. I just wanted to let you know what a good person he was and that he was a humanitarian. He was a hard worker and he loved his job and he, uh, the community loved him. Valerie Castile told the president she did not condone violence and Philando would not want that either. She said violence only leads to more violence and that's not the way to obtain justice. President Obama did mention Philando Castile during his speech yesterday. Castile's funeral is tomorrow at noon at the Cathedral of St. Paul. Jason. Thanks, Ashley.